don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now I haven't been vlogging. I don't know why. To be honest, I know why. First of all, when I got back from Morocco, I found out that I lost a lot of my clips. And there was also like a sponsored video that I shot in Morocco. And I lost like a good amount of my clips. I was just so... I just felt like really defeated because what really was the purpose of me losing my clips? You get Like I was just really, really sad. I got a package from Pixie. It has been here, like you guys, for you to understand that I've just I fell off. <laughs> I actually fell off. The package has been here since I haven't even opened it. This is the box, it is the Pixies. Okay, of course, it's Pixies country. Oh, look, it's so pretty. I have like a Pixie mist already, I used it a lot. And this is the Dreamy Mist. This is Jasmine and Lavender. I'm sure this would be so good for sleep, like when you're about to go to bed. So it's to be really really good and then this is the dreamy eye patches i have the green one do i start a collection and then there is also the eye max i don't really sleep with eye max to be fair but like i'll start and it's customized look it says a oh no amy is getting ready to glow that's basically all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. I'm going to get my hair braided this morning. It's currently 9.57. My hair appointment is for 11 o'clock, actually. The, the salon I'm going to is King David Salon. I don't know how many of you guys have been here for so long, but um, around like 2020, 2021, there was this place I was always going to get my nails done. And his name is King David and he just recently opened the salon so that's where I'm going to this morning my cab is here hi guys I'm going for Naomi's birthdays at the beach
9 a.m. and we just opened <laughs> a bag of for them because we are like one of the first few people to get here. A baby is crying, but I'm going to signal her, okay? Okay, okay. Toby! As you guys can see, I'm dressed up. This is my outfit. My top is from Abike. And then my pants are Jaded London. We have some fofo for the studio. The new release is coming in, I think, December. This is called the basic collection. You can see this earring. This is more like an everyday style. It's so cute. I love everything so much. I'm going to my cousin's house now. He wants to take me book shopping. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I went to his house and then I took this book. This is the A Thousand Splendid Sun. I didn't know what I was expecting from the book to be very honest. Like all these type of books, I just like to read them blindly. I don't really like to read the back of the book. I just like to, you know, read a book and like for what it is, do you get me? And this book is so sad, bro. Like, ugh. I don't want to spoil the book for you guys because I actually want you guys to read this book. I'm almost done with it. I'm actually so scared to finish it because the last part I read, I was weeping and I was like, oh my god, I can't. I literally cannot read it anymore. I can't. I think I'm going to actually read the book over and over, and over again in my lifetime. In this, my one lifetime, I feel like it's a book that I'm going to read over and over again, and I I do not mind it at all. So he's, we're going to a bookstore. I think it's called Rubin Heights. It is in VI. I want to get a copy of this book for myself because, as you guys can see, I have a growing library. Not too much. You should be six and a half. Six and a half. Mm. Show that to under boss. It's 14. It's 9. 9. Oh, wait, don't remove it yet. Let's have a hug. You're much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You better on the first day I should have said what's wrong in the first place I don't cause you always taking it the wrong way You won't listen, you're too busy playing 2K I've always been down but you still sleep and even though I said it now you should have been pee Guys, good morning It's a new day It's a new dawn And I want to show you guys a book haul Of all the books that I got from Ruben Heights they have a good amount of books but like not a lot of like the books that i have on my to be read like my book wish list yes they don't have a lot of that so i just got a bunch of like random books that seemed interesting to me so let's start the first one is a broken people's playlist i've heard so much about this book it's like a bunch of short stories and i'm really excited to read it i think i'm going to actually start with this one just since it's a bunch of short stories and yeah the next one is the mechanics of yenogwa i heard this book is very interesting uh i met my friend i met one of my friends at the bookstore and she said this one is really interesting so i picked it up i think it's supposed to be more of like a light read this one is before i let go i actually got this one for dara because she likes like romance books so that is actually for Dara, not for me okay let me tell you guys the prices because i feel like the prices at um the prices at robin heights they're actually not so bad this one was four thousand this one was also four thousand Dara's book was seven thousand <laughs> the next book i got is udofa look at it guys i didn't know i don't know what this book is about i've been seeing it a lot so i'm like let me just pick it up most of the times there yeah, i told you guys most of the times i don't like to read like the back of the book i like to just pick up books based on recommendations i just blindly read them <laughs> if i see a book or somebody's story best believe i'm going to read it without reading what it's actually about i just i just like to be surprised i want to be surprised the next thing is Life of Pi. 
I actually had to read the back of this one because my cousin actually recommended it. My cousin that actually took me book shopping actually recommended it. And this one was 5,000. This was 5,500. Next book is Half of a Yellow Sun. I've actually read this in... <laughs> But it's a long ass time ago. But as you guys can see, I'm building my own personal library. And I do not have it. I read it in like secondary school. I actually had a copy in secondary school. I do not know where it is. So I decided to get a new one because I want to reread it. I really like big books. So I've noticed this about myself. I actually really enjoy reading big books. And this one is about 500 pages long. So it's actually not even that long because I've read bigger books. <laughs> it's about 500 pages long. This was 4,000 naira. No, it was actually 3,000 naira. It was so affordable because I was about to get it from Ebano. From Ebano is like 5,000. So I'm like, thank God I didn't get it because that's like 2,000 naira difference. And then the last book I got is The Middle Daughter. In case you guys don't know, I, myself, I am a middle daughter. So I was really excited to pick it up. But when I read the... What do you want to call it? Is this synopsis? I don't even know. And I'm supposed to be a reader. That's crazy. When I read it, I realized that it's about domestic abuse once again. Like, I'm so tired of Nigerian books and the domestic abuse. Like, it's just a lot. I'm so tired. The last few books I read, A Spell of Good Things, Tomorrow I Become a Woman, Ogadima. Those three books. These are the last three Nigerian books I read. Guys, when I tell you, every single one of them. Okay, no, it felt of good things wasn't about like domestic abuse, but like these two, I read them right after each other. Both of them so bad. The women are just always suffering, and suffering, and suffering, and suffering. Like, can, can women enjoy Nigerian authors? Please, can, can women enjoy life? Can they? Can they be less suffering? Hmm? Like you guys are not even making me want to marry to be very honest because this babe in Okadima, she suffered. The one serving to where I become a she's like suffering. The women are just always suffering. Can the man suffer, please? You still talking about babies and I'm still taking a plan B. It's so embarrassing. All of the things I need. He gets me, let me out to the I have an event today with Narciso Rodriguez and I reached out, I literally reached out to her on Monday, today is Thursday, I reached out to her that I have an event and I really like to wear one of her outfits and this is it, it is God, you guys, this dress is so pretty, I can't wait to try it, I'm so out of, why am I always out of breath, like, Oh, and there's a handwritten note. It was so so nice. It doesn't even look like something that they just <laughs> saw so yesterday. And this is the this is the skirt. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh! I'm so, I don't think I've been so excited to wear an outfit in a really really long time. So I'm so excited to. <laughs> I'm so excited to wear it. It's currently like 2 p.m. right now. I want to start getting ready by like 4 because the event is for 6. Thank you so much, Sandra. I love it. Like, you are so talented. This is one of the best Nigerian mid clothes I've seen in a long ass time. So, thank you. Alright, bye. The outfit I was supposed to wear that I was really excited for, it was too small. So I, I just think I would send it back and probably get my size and then take pictures another day. But this outfit is still really nice. This is it. It's also really nice. I actually still like it. This is my little fit.
they just called me I actually ordered my bed and a new mirror from Abuja like a month ago I'm not joking it they told me it would take like two weeks to get them done and then it would take like two to three days to get to Lagos I ordered this in August it is anyway I ordered in August right beginning of August I mean ending of July and this is September today is like 20th of September or something well anyway my bed is coming and my new mirror as well so I want to make space because I'm redoing my whole room like I want to get wooden floors I want to change my wardrobe like I'm changing literally everything I've paid for my new table so I'm going to get it in like October I want to get a new mirror I want to get a new wardrobe I want to get a new drawer like everything is just gonna change I got a new chair I haven't unboxed it yet I'll unbox it in a second but first let's try to like create space like take everything not everything shall but like take most of it out and just see what's gonna happen So I just want to eat breakfast and then I'll start getting ready to go. I'm currently watching Sex Education, <laughs> the new season of Sex Education. Uh, Guys, I'm ready for brunch. I'm finally wearing this my B fit top and this skirt because it's actually a set, but I've just been wearing the top <laughs> without wearing the skirt. And I'm going to take this to my Charles and Keith bag and my friend told me casual but i feel like this is also casual like it depends on how you see casual you get so this is my outfit the set is from b fit i'm taking this charles and keith bag and i'm wearing my slides from etan yobe and that's basically the outfits <laughs> <laughs> 